but the first course used in 1907 was the short course starting and finishing at St John's. This is the famous, or perhaps infamous, Devil's Elbow. The first race was won at an average speed of just 38.22 miles per hour. Some of the TT greats, the 1934 lightweight winning Rutsch team. On the left, Jimmy Simpson, who set so many fastest laps, they named the Jimmy Simpson Trophy after him. Alec Bennett, winner of five TT races from 1922 to 1928. An Irish Canadian, he came to England with the Canadian Army in 1914-18 war. He also set four fastest laps. That's Wal Hanley, the first rider to win two TT races in a week, the 1925 ultra lightweight and the junior. He first rode in 1922 and altogether rode in 28 races, winning four and was also second three times. He had nine record or fastest laps during his career. The mountain course was first used in 1911. This is the start of the 1928 Senior TT. The starting point is at the Grand Stand Glencrutchery Road in Douglas, just as it is now. The unusual style of the riders at Hillbury and at Cronknamona. Governor's Bridge was always a popular vantage point. Dodson won the race at 72.05 miles per hour on a Sunbeam, with Rowley on an AJS second, and Sunbeam mounted Hatch was third. Jimmy Simpson, needless to say, set the fastest lap. There were perfect conditions for the junior race. Riders sit calmly on their machines. In those days, they started separately at 30 second intervals. Braddon Bridge, still popular today. And Belig Bridge used to be a humpback bridge just like Balaf, and the natural grandstand was packed with spectators. That's Balacrane with the famous pub. And of course, Governor's Bridge and the very narrow finishing straight. Alec Bennett won on the Veloset at 68.65, with Willis on a Veloset second. When racing resumed after World War II, the Clubman's races were being held, and they continued until 1956. They were for absolutely standard machines and had to be kickstart at the start, and the enthusiasm as they worked on them was clear to be seen. 1949 had a royal visitor to the TT. His Royal Highness, the Duke of Edinburgh, arrives at the course and is welcomed by officials of the Auto Cycle Union, who are the organizers of this event. All is now ready, and they're off to a royal start, with last year's winner in pride of place as number one. The riders start in pairs and follow one another at 30-second intervals. Now watch these boys show you how to take the Quarter Bridge corner at speed. Roaring into the double S bends of Braddon Bridge. Past the church and streak away along the straight to Union Mills, Crosby and Ballotrain Corner. Then on up the through St. Helen to the village of Kirk Michael with its deserted street and every dog and cat off the road and safely under lock and key. 